It's on them because they have oppressed his children and his elect. And they shall be a spectacle for the righteous and for his elect. They shall rejoice over them. Because the wrath of the Lord of spirits resteth upon them. And his sword is drunk with their blood. And the righteous and elect shall be saved on that day. And they shall never thenceforward see the face of the sinners and unrighteous. And the Lord of spirits will abide over them. And with that Son of Man shall they eat. And lie down and rise up for ever and ever. And the righteous and elect shall have risen from the earth. And ceased to be of downcast countenance. And they shall have been clothed with garments of glory. And these shall be the garments of life from the Lord of spirits. And your garments shall not grow old. Nor your glory pass away before the Lord of spirits. Chapter 63 in those days shall the mighty and the kings who possess the earth implore him to grant them a little respite from his angels of punishment to whom they were delivered, that they might fall down and worship before the Lord of spirits, and confess their sins before him. And they shall bless and glorify the Lord of spirits, and say, Blessed is the Lord of spirits and the Lord of kings, and the Lord of the mighty and the Lord of the rich, and the Lord of glory and the Lord of wisdom. And splendid in every secret thing is thy power from generation to generation. And thy glory for ever and ever. Deep are all thy secrets and innumerable. And thy righteousness is beyond reckoning. We have now learnt that we should glorify. And bless the Lord of kings and him who is king over all kings. And they shall say. Would that we had rest to glorify and give thanks. And confess our faith before his will rest but find it not. We follow hard upon and obtain, it, not. And light has vanished from before us. And darkness is our dwelling place for ever and ever. For we have not believed before him. Nor glorified the name of the Lord of spirits, nor glorified our Lord. But our hope was in the scepter of our kingdom. And in our glory. And in the day of our suffering and tribulation he saves us not. And we find no respite for confession that our Lord is true in all his works, and in his judgments and his justice. And his judgments have no respect of persons. And we pass away from before his face on account of our works. And all our sins are reckoned up in righteousness. Now they shall say unto themselves, Our souls are full of unrighteous gain, but it does not prevent us from descending from the midst thereof into the burden of Sheol. And after that their faces shall be filled with darkness, and shame before the Son of Man. And they shall be driven from his presence. And the sword shall abide before his face in their midst. Thus spake the Lord of spirits, This is the ordinance and judgment with respect to the mighty and the kings and the exalted and those who possess the earth before the Lord of spirits. Chapter 64 And other forms I saw hidden in that place. I heard the voice of the angel saying, These are the angels who descended to the earth and revealed what was hidden to the children of men and seduced the children of men into committing sin. Chapter 65 And in those days Noah saw the earth that it had sunk down and its destruction was nigh. And he arose from thence and went to the ends of the earth, and cried aloud to his grandfather Enoch, and Noah said three times with an embittered voice, Hear me, hear me, hear me. And I said unto him, Tell me what it is that is falling out on the earth that the earth is in such evil plight and shaken, lest perchance I shall perish with it. And thereupon there was a great commotion, on the earth, and a voice was heard from heaven, and I fell on my face. And Enoch my grandfather came and stood by me, and said unto me, Why hast thou cried unto me with a bitter cry and weeping and a command has gone forth from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learnt all of the secrets of the angels, and all the violence of the satans, and all their powers the most secret ones and all the power of those who practice sorcery, and the power of witchcraft, and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth, and how silver is produced from the dust of the earth and how soft metal originates in the earth. For lead and tin are not produced from the earth like the first, it is a fountain that produces them, and an angel stands therein, and that angel is preeminent. And after that my grandfather Enoch took hold of me by my hand and raised me up, and said unto me, 
Go, for I have asked the Lord of spirits as touching this commotion on the earth. And he said unto me, Because of their unrighteousness their judgment has been determined upon and shall not be withheld by me forever. Because of the sorceries which they have searched out and learned, the earth and those who dwell upon it shall be destroyed. And these they have no place of repentance forever, because they have shown them what was hidden, and they are the damned, but as for thee, my son, the Lord of spirits knows that thou art pure, and guiltless of this reproach concerning the secrets. And he has destined thy name to be among the holy, and will preserve thee amongst those who dwell on the earth, and has destined thy righteous seed both for kingship and for great honors. And from thy seed shall proceed the fountain of the righteous and holy without number forever. Chapter 66 And after that he showed me the angels of punishment who are prepared to come and let loose all the powers of the waters which are beneath in the earth in order to bring judgment and destruction on all who abide and dwell on the earth. And the Lord of Spirits gave commandment to the angels who were going forth, that they should not cause the waters to rise but should hold them in check for those angels were over the powers of the waters. And I went away from the presence of Enoch. Chapter 67 And in those days the word of God came unto me, and he said unto me, Noah, thy lot has come up before me, a lot without blame, a lot of love and uprightness. And now the angels are making a wood and building, and when they have completed that task I will place my hand upon it and preserve it. And there shall come forth from it the seed of life, and a change shall set in so that the earth will not remain without inhabitant. And I will make fast thy st before me for ever and ever, and I will spread abroad those who dwell with thee, it shall not be unfruitful on the face of the earth, but it shall be blessed and multiply on the earth in the name of the Lord. And he will imprison those angels, who have shown unrighteousness, in that burning valley which my grandfather Enoch had formerly shown to me in the west among the mountains of gold and silver and iron and soft metal and tin. And I saw that valley in which there was a great convulsion and a convulsion of the waters. And when all this took place, from that fiery molten metal and from the convulsion thereof in that place, there was produced a smell of sulfur, and it was connected with those waters, and that valley of the angels who had led astray, mankind, burned beneath that land. And through its valleys proceed streams of fire, where these angels are punished who have led astray those who dwell upon the earth. But those waters shall in those days serve for the kings and the mighty and the exalted, and those who dwell on the earth, for the healing of the body, but for the punishment of the spirit. Now their spirit is full of lust, that they may be punished in their body, for they have denied the Lord of spirits and see their punishment daily, and yet believe not in his name. And in proportion as the burning of their bodies becomes severe, a corresponding change shall take place in their spirit for ever and ever, for before the Lord of spirits none shall utter an idle word. For the judgment shall come upon them, because they believe in the lust of their body and deny the spirit of the Lord. And those same waters will undergo a change in those days, for when those angels are punished in these waters, these water springs shall change their temperature, and when the angels ascend, this water of the springs shall change and become cold. And I heard Michael answering and saying, This judgment wherewith the angels are judged is a testimony for the kings and the mighty who possess the earth. Because these waters of judgment minister to the healing of the body, for they will not see and will not believe that those waters will change and become a fire which burns forever. Chapter 68 and after that my grandfather Enoch gave me the teaching of all the secrets in the book in the parables which had been given to him, and he put them together for me in the words of the book of the parables. And on that day Michael answered Raphael and said, The power of the Spirit transports and makes me to tremble because of the severity of the judgment of the secrets, the judgment of the angels, who can endure the severe judgment which has been executed, and before which they melt away. And Michael answered again, and said to Raphael, Who is he whose heart is not softened concerning it, and whose reins are not troubled by this word of judgment, that, has gone forth upon them because of those who have thus led them out? And it came to pass when he stood before the Lord of Spirits, Michael said thus to Raphael, I will not take their part under the eye of the Lord, for the Lord of Spirits has been angry with them because they do as if they were the Lord. Therefore all that is hidden shall come upon them forever and ever 
for neither angel nor man shall have his portion, in it, but alone they have received their judgment for ever and ever. Chapter 69 And after this judgment they shall terrify and make them to tremble because they have shown this to those who dwell on the earth. And behold the names of those angels, and these are their names, the first of them is Sanjaza, the second Dardakaifa, and the third Darman, the fourth Gokabel, the fifth Trail, the sixth Rumj, the seventh Donj, the eighth Mikael, the ninth Barakal, the tenth Azazel, the eleventh Armros, the twelfth Bitarj, the thirteenth Busais, the fourteenth Minil, the fifteenth Troll, and the sixteenth Semipus Yil, the seventeenth Jetral, the eighteenth Tumael, the nineteenth Troll, the twentieth Rumael, the twenty-first Azazel. And these are the chiefs of their angels and their names, and their chief ones over hundreds and over fifties and over tens. The name of the first Jekin, that is, the one who led astray, all, the sons of God, and brought them down to the earth, and led them astray through the daughters of men. And the second was named Aspiel, he imparted to the holy sons of God evil counsel, and led them astray so that they defiled their bodies with the daughters of men. And the third was named Godriel, he it is who showed the children of men all the blows of death, and he led astray you, and showed, the weapons of death to the sons of men, the shield and the coat of mail, and the sword for battle, and all the weapons of death to the children of men. And from his hand they have proceeded against those who dwell on the earth from the day and forevermore. And the fourth was named Pinamwi, he taught the children of men the bitter and the sweet, and he taught them all the secrets of their wisdom. And he instructed mankind in writing with ink and paper, and thereby many sinned from eternity to eternity and until this day. For men were not created for such a purpose, to give confirmation to their good faith with pen and ink. For men were created exactly like the angels, to the intent that they should continue pure and righteous, in death which destroys everything, could not have taken hold of them, but through this their knowledge they are perishing, and through this power it is consuming me. And the fifth was named Kosja, this is he who showed the children of men all the wicked smitings of spirits and demons, and the smitings of the embryo in the womb, that it may pass away, and, the smitings of the soul, the bites of the serpent, and the smitings which befall through the noontide heat, the son of the serpent named Teba A. And this is the task of Caspiel, the chief of the oath which he showed to the holy ones when he dwelt high above in glory, and its name is Bika. This, angel, requested Michael to show him the hidden name, that he might enunciate it in the oath, so that those might quake before the name and oath who revealed all that was in secret to the children of men. And this is the power of this oath, for it is powerful and strong, and he placed this oath in the hand of Michael. And these are the secrets of this oath. And they are strong through his oath. And the heaven was suspended before the world was created. And forever. And through it the earth was founded upon the water. And from the secret recesses of the mountains come beautiful waters. From the creation of the world and unto eternity. And through that oath the sea was created. And as its foundation he set were it the sand against the time of, its, anger and it dare not pass beyond it from the creation of the world unto eternity. And through that oath are the depths made fast, and abide and stir not from their place from eternity to eternity. And through that oath the sun and moon complete their course, and deviate not from their ordinance from eternity to eternity. And through that oath the stars complete their course, and he calls them by their names, and they answer him from eternity to eternity.